Hello, I am Indigo Sage coming at you to introduce myself. I am the creator of the hot blog spot for spiritual awakening at unapologeticallysage.com. Again, that is unapologeticallysage.com. That's where you can go and read about my spiritual journey, my spiritual awakening, and we can also discuss yours by when you whenever you comment below. So, also you can check out Unapologetically Sage on Instagram where I feature my walking meditation photography, okay? It's it's like a photography essay that I put on there. Also, you can get a little bit more of me and my opinions and spiritual things that are my inspirations on Facebook under unapologeticallysage.com. That is where you can find the Facebook page. You also can find the personal Facebook page of Indigo Sage, which is me on Facebook. And the difference is you'll see the logo, my logo with the flowers and everything, and it's all pink and purple. That's the page. When you see the darker one with the black background, that's Indigo Sage where I put personal things. Like for instance, maybe the current song that I'm listening to at that time and and possibly you, you might catch me writing how it makes me feel, okay? So anyway, check out unapologeticallysage.com. Check out Unapologetically Sage Walk-In Meditations on Instagram and check out Unapologetically Sage page and Unapologetically Sage personality, Indigo Sage, the person, at Facebook. I am Indigo Sage and Awakened Soul. Welcome to my Tales of Tarot Intuition Series. The purpose of this series is to showcase tarot cards of the same title featuring different imagery. I will discuss the meaning of the card, but ultimately we will discuss the meaning that the image displays. Because you must remember, not every image means the same to each person. Some tarot readers base their sessions on imagery alone. Both imagery and intuition are very important in tarot. The info for the decks will be in the description box below. As a bonus, I will highlight one angel number message at the end of each video in this series. Angel number messages the tiles that I've created were created by me as a companion to each of my tarot reading videos. Our guardian angels use number messages to communicate with us all the time. This video series will provide some insights for the featured angel number message at the end of the video. Now let's sage this out. We are doing the King of Cups and I am going to present to you all many images of King of Cups. The first one I decided to lead out with, now I don't always lead out with Rider Waite, but the first one I did decide to lead out with Rider Waite because it's so many and so I just want you to take it all in. And so the first one is Rider Waite, okay, their authority creativity and a lot of emotions are in this picture even still he is in complete control of his emotions which is why he is the only cup card that doesn't look at his cup the scepter represents power and control Here we have the easy tarot and here is where I am going to talk about the way the um, object 
in the card is facing that is very important when it comes to imagery and there's lots of different ways that you can look at it but we'll discuss a few of them so the easy tarot as you can see he is obviously facing right and so we're gonna focus on the face direction and what it means in court cards and tarot if a figure on the card faces left that could represent the past. If a figure on the card faces forward, that could represent present. If a figure on the card faces right, I'm sure you've guessed it, that could represent the future, okay? So when we are breaking down imagery of these tarot cards, if they are a single card, okay and for some type of reason they are meaning something very important to you just based off of this one card then you can look at it as past present future left forward right facing that's what they mean Here is the De Marciel, the French deck, which is one of my favorites. And what we're going to discuss with him is when the kings come out, in any court cards for that matter, in a relationship spread. So you should know that when you are doing a relationship spread, you should analyze the way the two figures face direction in a more relatable way so meaning regardless of the gender because that that doesn't matter it really doesn't um, if the two figures are not facing each other most likely they are not getting along and most likely are not communicating if they are facing each other there may be love there or at least cooperation willingness and understanding so you need to understand what their facing direction means and and make it go to um, uh, make it relate to the reading that you are doing because it means different things again that's why I'm breaking down all the imagery Now back to King of Cups meaning and King of Cups alone, we have the Modern Witch Tarot, okay, which I love it. And I'm, I am going to speak on this because, like I said, this series is to highlight imagery, okay, for those of us who goes off of imagery and intuition. The imagery in here... I can't help but notice that um, this person is seems to be androgynous not sure if I pronounced it correctly but I did the best I could so I know the universe recognizes that um, you can't tell androgynous means you can't tell if it's a boy or a girl and guess what with me doesn't matter how about that so this is the modern witch tarot deck and this is the king of cups image for the modern witch tarot deck and this person is androgynous um, now I will say this the modern witch tarot deck seems to me as I've went through it that they are all seem to be mostly just all women in the main positions in this tarot deck and so you know if if push came to shove I would assume this was a woman but at the same time I enjoy just believing and thinking that this is an androgynous person so get into it this is 2020 we going into 2021 get over all of your preconceived notions and just get over it that's what I suggest but anyway this is my favorite deck so the modern wish deck for king of cups um, I would like to point out that if you are being emotionally challenged remember to stay true to yourself no matter what when this card shows up it means now is the time 
to exercise your emotional maturity. Do not be afraid to enforce your what? Boundaries. Y'all know I like to repeat stuff. Do not be afraid to enforce your boundaries. Sometimes, especially when this card shows up, you know, you, you need to do that. You need to do it. And it's okay to do it. Exercise your boundaries, enforce your boundaries, show your boundaries. Because having boundaries, for number one, it shows the universe that you do love yourself. Okay? Because you, you have to love yourself. You have to. And the only one of the main ways to show that you love yourself to the universe is when you enforce your boundaries. So you must do that. And yes, I hit that B real hard. You must enforce your boundaries. And that's point blank, period. Um, and they're telling me that's that on that. From the so below deck, we are demonstrating clearly that you care enough to use your intuition to understand human interactions. And then again, this is the, this says King of Chalices. With this deck, they call cups chal chalices. So this is still the King of Cups and it's pay attention to the imagery. That's what the Tales of Tarot series is all about. This imagery is completely different than what we've been used to. He's surrounded by what looks like kids. He looks like he may be even an art teacher or something. Um, but he's the king of chalices, the king of cups, okay? Um, and this is why I say and remind you guys that imagery is everything. Imagery and intuition. So this imagery is completely different. And then also, if you notice from what I said in the beginning, he's facing the left so this in your reading when it shows up in your reading it could mean a couple of things it could mean that he's looking to the past um it just could mean a couple of things so let me read these bullet points and this is from the so below deck by barbara moore love her love her decks you care enough to use your intuition to understand human interaction or this card represents that you are capable of using your intuition to understand human act, human reactions. Let me repeat that because I stumbled a little bit. Or this card represents that you are capable, which means you're not doing it, you're capable of using your intuition to understand human reactions. So this is different from the interaction, from understanding human interaction, this is human reaction. I just wanted to make that clear. Whether you choose to use your intuition is completely up to you. So that's kind of deep because when this card shows up, it can mean that you care enough to use your intuition to understand human interaction. Or this card represents that you are capable of using your intuition to understand human reactions. Whether you choose to use your human, your, excuse me, whether you choose to use your intuition is completely up to you. So what that actually says is like, you may not choose to take a deeper dive into why someone did what they did. That's what that means. You may not, I mean, because uh, human interaction, you may not want to try to break that down and see why that person interacted with you that way. And a human reaction, you may not choose to take a deep dive and to see why that person reacted that way. You just may not. And that's completely up to you. When this card shows up, it says that you have the capability to do so if you so choose. Like you, you have emotional t intelligence. Not everyone has emotional intelligence. If you don't know what emotional intelligence is, please look it up because that's 
a part of that's a big part of what king of cups is he embodies emotional intelligence he's the king of emotional intelligence he has it so i'm kind of convinced that like if you don't know what emotional intelligence is then he probably ain't showing up in your readings but um you still need to know what it means it still can show up you know across the board if you're having a reading or doing a reading of you and someone else or if you are a reader yourself and it shows up you need to know what it means but he embodies emotional intelligence that's why he doesn't have to look at his cup because he already got it he already has it he already has the emotional intelligence he knows what's up he knows he he has his emotions under control so it's up to him to to understand other people's um interactions and reactions or not so but he's cool either way though because he's in control of his emotions he's in control he's the the king of cups is is in control of his his emotions now here's another alternative to the king of cups using the Casanova tarot the king of cups may come up as a father figure in your life or this could be you stepping into that role this person offers advice and compassion towards others this one was kind of heavy feeling this comes from the wild unknown as you interact with others you may need to navigate their strong feelings and emotional triggers so that you can create a sense of peace in your interactions. Yes, I am going to repeat that. As you interact with others, you may need to navigate their strong feelings and emotional triggers so that you can create a sense of peace in your interactions. So what this is saying is, as you talk to, speak to, and interact with other people, you may be the one, as the king of cups, that needs to navigate their feelings for them so that you can have a good interaction with them so far as emotions so what that basically is saying is that they may not realize it how emotional they are or emotional immature that they may be they may not even know it but if you show up as the king of cups you know it you see it so you may be the one and this is coming right after that father figure type of thing but it's separate but it can be related but they may not understand their emotions, but you do. That's what this is saying. They may not understand their emotions, but you do. And you, and with you being the one that understands their emotions, you have to navigate the interactions so that they're not so heavy or so horrible. <laughs> you have to navigate. Navig navigation doesn't even mean, it doesn't necessarily mean heavy or horrible but you have to navigate it to where it needs to go in order to have clarity on both ends if you show up as king of cups that sounds like heavy responsibility and um it probably is but that's a possibility of the meaning of that card when it shows up angel number tile four nine for main point is angel tile number 494 may be suggesting that it is time to let go of a situation that has come to an end the angels wish to remind you that as one door closes another opens and they are helping you to heal from 
any pain, sorrow, or feelings of loss that may accompany the transition that you must go through. Now, I am going to say this little tidbit of information. Usually, I do try to, um, when it comes to the Tales of Tarot and the number that the card has, I try to match it with that number because this one is not a, it's not a reading. So I don't have to do my same, you know, um, process that I do when it's a reading. When it's a reading, I choose the, the, the angel number tiles the same way that I do a card. When it is Tales of Tarot, where I am specifically picking, like for instance, King of Cups to explain, I look at the number card that it is and they're 14. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, 14, something to do with 14. And this number came up and it was 494. I take it. So I guess the process still is the same. That's what my angels are telling me. The process still is the same. Like I don't like pick it. It picks itself, but I, I have like 14 in my mind. So anyway, um, so usually when I have something like that in my mind, like four will come up or one will come up something you know will come up that that associates with the number that I have in my mind versus when it's not a tales of tarot and it's just open according to the message I don't have a number in my mind so anyway moving right along this one I'm gonna tell you something it seems so personal although there are two fours and when you break them down add them up and break them down to one number it's eight and the first thing that I looked at I was like wow I was like it's as if these fours just squeeze that nine out so (laughs) I don't know if that means anything to anyone who is listening but um I know that when this came up um it meant a lot to me and so therefore I am going to repeat it um guess what because I want to but also just because I am realizing that these numbers according to these messages they are hitting people they are hitting you guys right when you need them right when you need to hear this message even though this is not a um, you know a tarot message a reading message I'm just breaking down the cards that's all I that's all I'm doing and I'm adding a message on the end of it a a angel number tile on the end of it just to break it down just so that you guys are familiar with angel number messages but this one to be honest this entire message felt like it was for me and I'm like wow this is the first time this was like a message like a tarot message Uh, maybe I should do an empowerment message But in the meantime, I'm going to keep on because I have all the kings and all the knights, um, which is another thing I wanted to tell you guys, the kings and the knights and some of my research, it says that the knights are to look to be looked upon as the sons of the kings and the pages are to be looked upon as the daughters of the queens so when I meditated they told me do the kings and the knights so I'm gonna finish and complete all of those then I'm going to do the queens and the pages so that's what my guardian angels told me to do because up until then they were completely random as you can see if you care to look you can see they were completely random these are not random at all but I follow when I meditate I follow what they tell me to do so before I move on to the next slide let me say angel number tile 494 and this really hit home for me angel number 494 
may be suggesting that it is time to let go of a situation that has come to an end. The angels wish to remind you that as one door closes, another opens and they are helping you to heal from any pain, sorrow, or feelings of loss or feelings of loss that may accompany the transition that you must go through. What you are looking at is the back of the first deck that I've designed specifically for the best clarifying results possible during my extendeds. Hence the title, Ultimate Clarifiers Deck. What? I am extremely excited to put it to use, not to mention for sale later. I can't wait to use Ultimate Clarifiers Deck in order to give you all more personal readings with the extendeds to come. May you all have a blessed week and weekend, okay? Remember, as above, so below. You wish me well, I wish you all well, and everything comes back delivered by the universe. Hello Sages, click like if you liked it and it resonated with you in any kind of way and subscribe, just show me some support, that's all you gotta do, show me a little support and click subscribe, promise you won't regret it, alright, also remember to check me out at unapologeticallysage.com just to talk about spiritual awakening and view wonderful pictures of my walking meditations and uh, everything else in between, okay? Don't forget there's also like a morning muse where there's lots of memes, spiritual memes where I promise you one or more will make you laugh. So go ahead and check me out also at unapologeticallysage.com. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.